Well, yeah, viewer, so I've got a bit motivated, so I'm going to pull the injection pump off and pull the oil cooler out of the side of the block and give that a once over. So I've just, um, I've just labelled everything. It's a bit of an overkill, but I don't want to stuff it up if I get tired or don't do it, don't put it back together anytime soon. So, um, yeah, I've labelled the side of the pump, put some labels in there so I can't stuff that up. Also made some marks for the injection pump timing. Another overkill there, but rather have too many marks and not enough. But um, yes, yeah, so I've just drained the oil. So I'll, um, I'll pop off the inspection plate here to access the front bolt on the shaft of the injection pump. Pull out my three locating nuts at the back here. Um, yeah, and we'll pull that out and have a look. Uh, no. So we'll just pop off the front plate here so we can access the injection pump. chaos happening at the moment. Looks like there's a shooting up the road in the bush somewhere. Hopefully everyone's okay. I've got enough cops out there to sort it out by the sound of it. should be able to see in there viewers just got a nut on the end um, that's on the end of the shaft it goes into the injection pump um, and there's a gear obviously that sits inside this timing case that this um, nut holds the injection pump spindle inside the middle of that gear so I should be able to make sure I'm on TDC just because that's my habit and then I'll uh, crack that nut and then undo the bolts at the back and get the injection pump off. Alrighty, so <clears throat> I've taken that nut off. That was a three quarter. And now that that's off, if you look inside there and when it focuses, you'll see that in the gear, the gear has a slot and um, keyway on the shaft um, from the injection pump will fit into that keyway so you sort of have to make sure you remember where that is uh, indexed so you remember its position when you put in the injection pump <clears throat> make sure that hasn't changed or you're forcing that in and when you pull that out um, from memory it's like a little half a coin type deal or a sixth of a coin so it can fall out so just keep an eye on that it doesn't end it up that it doesn't end up in your timing case Alrighty, so now that we've got that loose, there's three nuts in the triangle shape. Uh, one, two, three. In the back there, little half inches, we'll take those off. And then I should just be able to give the injection pump spindle a very light tap and remove the injection pump. So I'll give that a whirl. Well, uh, so got to the point of pulling the nuts off the back, the three nuts holding the injection pump in. And of course, this one over this side of the engine block, right down in there, was an absolute bastard to get to, as you can see. Inlet manifold off, um, injectors cracked, obviously. Um, yeah, so I doubted my <coughs> resolve to continue this job but I'm glad I did wasn't actually on that tight so obviously I um, struggled with it the first time as well but with what I know now I'm thinking I might heat up a little spanner and have it all bent up in a U shape so I can uh, put it back on properly so I've just backed off those nuts to the back of the thread because when I tap on the front of this shaft ever so gently, increasingly hard while I get the shits with it. 
um, you don't want the injection pump to fall out and land on the floor. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I'll set this up and I'll give it a little tap. It should be a little bit stuck, but it should free up. I don't recall it being that hard last time. So anyway, we'll give that a go. Pop the nut on the end, actually, so I don't damage the thread. Hear the tone change then? That was it. Pop the knob. Take the nuts completely off at the back. Of course, I've got a uh, bolt in the way. Yeah, that's the wrong size. Uh, just got the lower mount of the injection pump. This puppy here to pop out of the way, and that'll just fall out. So we'll give that a go. Radio punctures. So you can see I've got the injection pump out. Once I remove that little rear bracket, it, uh, there's nothing in the way. Then it just fell straight out. Should have taken that off first. But you can see here we've got our little um, spindle shaft with our little shear pin slash disc here. That's moving around quite freely. So it didn't fall in the timing case cover. So it's awesome. There's our oil cooler that I've been trying to get to for some time. Uh, it's pretty happy we've got this far, but I have run out of time tonight, so that'll have to be next chapter. Um, and I did experiment a fair bit last time I had this engine apart uh, many years ago, <clears throat> and did come to the conclusion that this gear, although don't try it uh, and don't tempt fate, um, it basically meshes in the gears of your, your other gears inside the timing case. It meshes in that well and deeply, that you can't actually bump it around and get it a tooth out with it because the timing case holds it so tightly. So I, I tried with this off, the timing cover off, uh, and with it on and with my little inspection hole I made here, tried all these different scenarios and I couldn't get it to jump a tooth accidentally. I just wanted to know for my own knowledge. So anyway, if you get that far, that's sitting there like that, don't get paranoid that you, have uh, let it drop and it's now going to be out of time with the other gears um, because um, I let my mind wander and thought oh how do I know it hasn't so I actually drilled a hole here spun the engine over a million times until the timing marks lined up on my gears and realized yep timing's perfect and it was all good so anyway back to that and here we are so we'll get into that oil cooler after work tomorrow night all right so as you probably guessed 
I have zero self-control. So in fact, I did remove the oil cooler. I couldn't help myself. And I just was dying to see what's inside. So I have pulled that out. That came out pretty easy. I don't really know what I'm looking for yet. Clearly there's some Welsh plugs there. Um, I'll give them a little bit of a scrape and clean up. They don't look like they're leaking coolant though, or, or do they? Anyway, that looks a little wet, that one, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking for yet. I'll have to research that and have a big clean up in there. Definitely some crud in there and some terrible gasket job. And up here on the bench, we have our oil cooler. So I guess it's just like the ones you have out the front of the car. Sorta, I oh, know, not the same. Um, just realized I should put that back and not pull it apart until I'm ready to clean it, inspect it and have a look at it and make sure I don't make anything worse. So anyway, a little bit of progress tonight. I'll catch you next segment.